Right, the two panels at the moment. 35. Can't bloody see. 35 volts, 3.2 amps. The controller's boosting it to 7.2. I might have to put a load on. And that's with the two panels. Right. And the new one's just turned up. It's two in there. Right, everything's off. It's getting about four or five amps. I was getting less than I did earlier. Earlier I was getting seven. I don't know what it went to. It might have been the voltage. But that fuse went pop. Heard it pop. Silly me, 10 amp fuse was going to the 10 amp charge controller. The old one. <laughs> Yeah, I changed the cable. I've added a breaker for the panels, DC breaker, because I was using one of these, that one, and it wasn't sufficient enough. So now I've put the breaker I had for the panels is now temporarily wired in because the fuse is blown. I put another fuse in, disconnected the solder just to check. The new one hadn't blown. It hadn't. These both lit up and started working again with the new fuse, so I've took the cable out of that side, put a cable in there, nice thick cable, it's that thick, the rubber grommet doesn't fit back in, um, so that's 60 amps, panels are off, controller's off, All right, turn the battery on, All right, nothing here, All right, let's turn the controller on, Right, we've got lights, they're working. And now let's try this again by turning the solar panels on and see if that trips out. I think we had too many, too much voltage. I just said 19 amps. It's boosting from two to 10. I'll stand up for this. Is that saying? I think it's the focus. 1.9 amps coming in, it's boosting it to 9.4. Wow, let's put a load on. Yeah, we'll see. The voltage was too high for that little blade fuse. And possibly the amperage if I'm getting to. Wow. All right, right let's, let's solder lines there. Put a solder line on. Um, and the battery's not even dropping that 12.9 the most I've ever got is 10 amps look at that 2.4 amps coming in and 12.4 going to the battery and that's with a solder line running wow normally when I put the solder line on the battery Drops down. Uh, 11.7. 77. 77.5 volts. Normally that says 30, 38 volts. I am happy with that. What happened with that? Even though I did blow a fuse. Not getting warm. Nothing's getting warm. Oh, cold. Wow. The sun's not directly above them yet. The sun's coming back out now. Yeah, we've got a load on. I've got the solder line plugged back in. Just under 80 volts, 2 amps coming in, it's boosting up to 10 amps. Battery's full, uh, I can't get a big enough load on. So I see the amps are dropping, but it needs less power. 
it drops the current going in. Uh, 79.8 volts. What's that work out in old money? 152 what? Happy days. That's much better than what I was getting. <laughs> Fans kicked in on the inverter. 20 amps coming in. Let's move a load on. 23.9 amps. Twenty three point nine amps for a damn minute ago. Four hundred and just over four hundred watts. It's on the fan here, it's on full on low. Okay, it's warming here now. <laughs> three hundred and ninety watts. Twenty amps coming in. Again, it's a cloudy day. The sun keeps disappearing behind the clouds. 22.9, 21 amps. It's not bad. Right, I'll turn that off. I'll show you. Again, 24 amps. Wow, 24 amps. And it won't focus. <laughs> Typical. 24 amps we just had. Yeah, battery's full. 17 amps. This will start dropping now, this figure. Twelve, eleven, because it's going to keep the battery at thirteen point eight. Goes up to fourteen when it's on boost charge. So yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Same power's coming in, same amps, but the charge control is dropping that. Wow, twenty something amps coming in. I'm used to that giving me four or five amps. The old one. Happy days, it's just warm now. I've had a heater on. Right, that's enough for today. Gotta to tidy that up and uh, go in the house and use some of this free electricity.